I said earlier, I do think next week there's a solid shot. Portions of the high country, highest elevations will be able to pick up their first snow. It's way beyond way in the future. Right now we are hot. We are dry. We are sunny across the region. We've just been stuck in the same pattern. High pressure sits to our south and until that pattern breaks, it's really a rinse and repeat at this hour. We're about 87 88 degrees across El Paso County. It's a great grilling evening. Whatever your outdoor plans may be. Two thumbs up, take a late summer swim in the pool by 6 o'clock, still 88 across the region. Even the winds cooperate right now. We're seeing gusts from the south about 5 to 15 miles per hour. That provides some relief, not much, but a few of the clouds helping as well. Tonight, we do cool nicely. Nothing like Tuesday, the 40s and 50s, but still 56 degrees in the springs. Pueblo out towards the far eastern plains. It'll be a nice start to your day tomorrow. Rain chances zero overnight. Maybe a few clouds lingering by 10, 11 p.m., though we really begin to clear out. A gorgeous start to your Friday. Again, southerly flow keeps us comfortable. Southwesterly as well. We are hot. We are dry. We are sunny. But it doesn't last for long. Our pattern will eventually break. By Friday, we watch one or two clouds across the region, very similar to today. Some relief given in the form of cloud cover, not much spotty at best. And I do think the continental divide could pick up on a very spotty shower or two. Futurecast wants to say one or two reach uh, southern Walsenburg for Friday. Don't see that coming to fruition. Now, Saturday, it's another day. Our in-house model not doing the best, picking up a few showers that will be possible. We start to see high pressure depart as it does that. I think one or two showers, like a 10 to 20 percent chance, will be possible from the springs down towards Pueblo. Then the greatest probability stays across the far eastern plains. Saturday is our last dry day. Here's our overall setup. High pressure continues to sit to our south. What that does is brings a westerly flow across the region. Air is forced to rise over the western slopes, gets wrung out like a sponge, so some of that moisture falls across the continental divide, and then we get a dry, downsloping wind. And so I don't think we come to fruition with any showers for tomorrow. Now, that same logic, hot, dry air, is why we do run 5 to 10 degrees above average. But watch Sunday into Monday. Keep an eye on our color scheme here. Cooler temperatures really begin to linger towards the region as high pressure shifts to the south and west. So our pattern breaks Saturday into Sunday. This is what we expect until then. 86 tomorrow in the springs, 93 in Pueblo, low 90s, Arkansas River Valley. Same holds true for Saturday. Plenty of sunshine, maybe one or two showers. Again, 5, 10 degrees above average. By Sunday, our pattern begins to change. Look at this extended outlook, upper 60s, low 70s. If you're tired of the heat, well, next week is your week. Through Saturday, I do think we stay dry in the springs, maybe one or two showers at best. Sunday onward, looks like some beneficial moisture, some cool fall-like temperatures, down to 69 by Monday. Pueblo, same holds true, 92 apiece for the next two days. Sunday onward, we do have some elevated rain chances mid to upper 70s the extended outlook if you're not a fan of this rain it's a good thing on average september tends to be a drier and more mild month so the fact that we're breaking this trend could help mitigate any potential second fire season same will hold true in monument long range outlook though we could get one more burst of heat so if you're a fall lover enjoy this unsettled stretch of weather this cooler stretch of weather because we could get one more burst of summer, one more taste of summer, guys, before we do officially usher in falls. Only oh, fall, only 15 days to go at this point. Yeah, hard to believe. It'll be nice to have some rain. We, it's, it's been. We a need it. Bit. It's been forever. You're right, Joe. Thanks. Hey, a quick peek at.